Today's going to be a rough day. It's Naomi's birthday and I have to work. I can't believe this shit. All because of this stupid raid. Chief Buffalo said I'd have the day off. shower to start the day. Nothing could be better than this. Deputy Nora Pignata. Bang! Hands up! The deaf is in the house. <laughs> Boo! Mom! That's not funny! It is to me. Happy 15th birthday, Naomi. Oh, do you have to go to work? Sorry, kiddo. Duty calls. I'm the deputy, so Chief Buffalo needs me for an important job today. Aww. Hey, don't be so upset. I'll be home later tonight and we'll party all night. You won't have to go to school tomorrow. Really? Yep. Tomorrow, we'll have a girl's day out. Okay. Who did you invite over today? No one wanted to come. What? Why, why not? I don't know. I thought at least Liz would, but she said she wouldn't be able to make it. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, your father's coming by today, so you can party with him until I get back. He loves parties. <laughs> yeah, that's why I left him. I have to go. I don't want to be late. Love you, sweetheart. Love you too. Harkani will be in the old gateway apartments, and Lawrence will be in this building here. Both off the battle map. Chief They'll Buffalo! Be Nora, hey there! <laughs> What's up, big guy? I should punch you in the face. I know. I'm sorry. Higher-ups changed the date to today. Yeah, evil never rests. Gather your best officers along with Corporal Lawrence Bull and Officer Harkani. Take your team to the course and get them close to your accuracy. Yes, sir! Oh, and, uh, don't get killed out there. On the raid, I mean. Y yes sir This is Deputy Nada. I, I need my team along, along with Corporal Bull, Bull and Officer and Harkani, Harkani to get to Harkani live fire force B. Staff! Everyone, put your weapons on the table in front of you. Other weapons will be available for use if you think you can do better with one of those. Listen up! The raid is today, and I need all of you at the top of your game. Today, we're aiming for three headshots and five chest shots. If you can pull off more, then good. Let me show you what I'm looking for. Take a look at my target. Three shots to the head, five to the chest. I didn't miss a single shot. This gang we're raiding today will have armor of all kinds. Pull off as many headshots as you can. Everyone, pick up your guns and get to your targets. Begin! Good hits, everyone. Some of you missed, but that's okay. At least I know you are all still good with your shots. Negative, ma'am. And why is that? You hit the target like everyone else. I only hit the head once, ma'am. Pistols aren't my forte. Which is why we're placing you where we did. You're a crack shot with a sniper rifle. No one is better than you and Corporal Bull with rifles. When is the briefing? I want to know who we're hitting. That will come soon. I need to have a word with the chief. The rest of you keep practicing until I either call for you or get back. Sir, a word. It's not often you follow a word alongside sir. What's up? My team hasn't been informed of who we're hitting, and I'm afraid once we tell them, some of them will bow out. Your crew is tough. Those officers have been on very dangerous jobs before. That's why I assigned them to you. This is a very high-end target. 
He has plenty of men, guns, and strategies. You are correct. Although, having a SWAT team here will up the odds of our success. If we were going in without them, then I would understand. I understand, sir, but... Look, don't worry about it. They'll obey your order and stay by your side. Or I'll buy you dinner. What? What was that? Hmm? Uh, nothing. I... Let's get to the briefing. Call your team. <laughs> Okay, I understand that some of you haven't been briefed on who we are raiding. I understand your confusion, and I'll understand if any of you want to bow out. However, we have a lot of SWAT team with us on this. Can you tell us who this person is? His name is Toist Shellman. Fucking Toist? Do you not realize who this is? We understand your anger. If anyone would like to bow out now, do it. Even Nora here is coming in on her daughter's birthday to do this. No one? Okay. Let's do this. Nora, take it away. We'll all be going in by the SWAT vans, as they'll protect us from the heavy weaponry and explosives. Corporal Bull and Officer Harkani, you'll both be going by ATV and going into these two buildings off the battle map. You'll be supplied with heavy-duty rifles and heat-vision scopes to be able to see the enemies through walls. You'll also have a crossbow with a zip line, just in case you have to zip line across anything. They should even reach the main building that we're going in. You'll need to find Toist as quickly as possible and keep an eye on his movements. Once you find him, the two of you will need to give us cover fire. My team will be going in through the front door and brute force our way towards him. All targets are to be considered hostile, so shoot to kill. Everybody understand? Gear up and move out! <laughs> Woo! Who's fucking ready for this? Hell yeah! Hey, whoever pops this asshole doesn't have to buy lunch. After this, I'm spending time with my kids. Same here. It's my daughter's birthday today. Damn. I would have bowed out. After this... I might take a vacation to the beach. I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably join you. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> Everyone, top of your game. RPG! <laughs> Nora! Nora! Huh? What? Get switched on, we gotta move, now! Come on, everybody up! Fuck. We got one casualty. All they wanted was to spend time with their kids. Come on, we can mourn later. Let's get out of here. You guys okay? I saw that explosion. We're okay. Took some hard hits. I took out that guy with the rocket launcher. You should be safe. Okay. We're gonna have to sprint for cover. We're not too far from the building, so this should be easy. Come on. This guy has a shield! This should help us get in! Good idea. You two, give us cover as we make our way in. Nora, tell your team to close in on the building. We need a tight grip on this place. Okay, team. We need everyone to move up. We need a tight hold on this building. Nora, take point. Rest you open fire. Harkani, Lawrence, any side on Toist? Negative. There's a lot of heat signatures in there. He's definitely on one of the higher floors. It's a 15-story building! How hard could it be to find him? He wouldn't hide. Let's move. You got three targets right around the corner. I'll take them. Let's find the stairs. It looks like there are stairs just a few doors down. I see two people coming down. They're mine. Let's move. Heads up! Holy shit! Can't believe they would throw their own members down a stairwell. We're with you. We enjoy the company. Let's move. Stop. These stairs don't look so new. It's an old building. We should go one at a time. They look like they're crumbling away. I'll go first. <laughs> Great. Now I have to stare at your butt the whole way. 
kiss it while you're at it. Okay, Nora. You're next. Here we go. Uh, I don't know. I'm right here. It's not that far to go. I have a bad feeling about this. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, jump! Oh, fuck! Come on, I got you. After this, I am so going on vacation. We'll find another way up. See you then. Even these stairs are gone. This whole place is coming apart. It could be a castle tactic. Castles usually have three or more sections that you have to go through to get to the king. None of the entrances line up, however, so it takes longer to get to the main hall. There has to be another way through. Let's go back down to the door below. That's our best guess. Nora, toss a flashbang. I've located Toist. He's one floor above you. Looks like he's sitting at a desk. I suggest using an explosive to puncture through the floor under him. Good idea, Chief. You know what to do? <laughs> I've always wanted to use the C4. Where is he? Can't get an exact location for my position. But he's to your right, Corporal. Twelfth floor. Second room from the end of the hall. Let's move. Be ready to fire! Going to fucking kill you! Juggernaut! Take cover! <laughs> Who the fuck is he? Must be one of the knights. That armor is too tough to pierce through. Harkani! Corporal! Take the fucking shot! The hell is this armor made of? These are heavy duty rifles! What kind of fucking armor is that? We have to do this the old fashioned way. We have to get his helmet off. How are we going to do that? I'll go left, you go right. I'll distract him long enough for you to jump on his back. Where are you two? Get done, city police ruin everything! But you know what really hurts? It's not the fact that you've been killing my friends, my comrades, my family. There are four things you can't get back in life. A word after it's been said, an opportunity after it's been missed, time after it's gone! and the lives of those who have left us. We're not all bad. Most bad people don't do bad things for themselves. It's the good, desperate people who do bad things for other people. Their wives, their children could be starving and die after you arrest or kill them. And yet you never go to help that family in need. Those are the people we have here. Those who needed help in life. Those who just needed some food. Those who had no other choice than to bow to your bloody laws and die like rabbit dogs. You never gave them a choice. We full well did. And here you are, killing us for one person. All of this death could be avoided if you just left us alone. Then stop committing crime. <sighs> Kill you! Ugh. They get tougher and tougher. Maybe you should retire. I'm only a year older than you. You're calling yourself old, too. I don't know if you forgot, but we're still looking for Toys here. How was that not him? He fit Toys height perfectly. I don't understand either. He's the only one in that building as tall as that. Wait a second. What did you say he was? A giant tortoise? We're all fucking stupid. He's cold-blooded. He won't show up on these types of heat visions, though. 
Corporal, this was your idea. Those scopes are your responsibility. I could have sworn these were the right scopes. I tested them and they were fine. Then why the hell aren't they working? Maybe he has a cold room. A what? A cold room. It's a special new type of room. It helps cold-blooded creatures survive in climates that are too hot. It keeps the outside at room temperature and the inside at whatever you want. His office could be one of those. That's why we can't see him. Hello, Gipkin City Police. You son of a bitch! You've been listening this whole time! Correct. And at this very moment, I can see you and the pig you're with. Then come out and show us what you can do! You'll regret those words. Ah! Fucking dick! <laughs> Chief! Come on! Run! Let's hide in here! He'll have to look through room after room to find us! Uh, put me down! Gladly. Chief! Direct attacks won't work on me. Skin's too tough. How did you pierce our armor? Be quiet, little pig. Armor piercing rounds cut straight through your Kevlar. Please, you don't have to do this! Just like you didn't have to come here today. Hey, is everything okay? It will be soon. Oh my god, I'm coming to kill you, you son of a bitch! You judge me before you even knew me. My juggernaut already told you what we do. And you still insist on killing me. Not a million words could save you now. You've been alive long enough to realize that nothing goes according to plan. Yet you thought this would be easy. You have a family, just like the rest of these people. Yet, you found it so easily to permanently separate them. Why do you think the same can't be done to you? You killed my best friend! You fucking asshole! Fuck you! You don't know the same pain I do. I lost my wife and child to a fire long ago. Ever since then, it's been easier to pull the trigger. Do you have kids? <sighs> you want to shoot me? There's your gun. No! What are you going to do without your shooting hand, little pig? <sighs> Any last words? Little pig. It's my daughter's birthday. <sighs> well, I'm coming. Are you Naomi and Mr. Nada? Where's my mom? You gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry. But Nora has passed away. Oh, uh, <laughs> no. Not on our daughter's birthday. I'm sorry. She was a brave woman. Uh, when's the funeral? Two weeks from today. We'll be there. Come on, honey. Let's go inside. We have gathered here today to honor our brave heroes who sacrificed their lives for something great. They laid their lives down to protect our family, our children, our friends. May they look down on us and protect us all. I send my prayers out to all of you here and to those who knew them that couldn't make it today. Goodbye. <laughs>